Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Matt Diavella. I'm a documentary filmmaker, and this is my new YouTube channel. This is Matt Diavella. He's 32 years old, and he started YouTube in 2018, and now he has around 2 million subscribers. In my opinion, 2019 was his year on YouTube. Why? Hey guys, welcome to a new video. I'm Rashik and welcome to EEQ. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and if you're watching this on Facebook, do be kind enough to like my Facebook page because I'll be making content every single week. And today we talk about YouTube and why I think 2019 has been the year of Matt Dia Villa. So firstly, let's look at his YouTube channel. If you look at how Matt started, you see on his YouTube channel, you can realize that it's not his own name, but it's the name of his company. So before YouTube, Matt had a video production company and he made the documentary The Minimalist which is amazing in itself and you should give it a watch. Then he started doing YouTube but while doing YouTube he realized that YouTube had become a place for clickbait content, reverse generated content, shallow posts that was intended for clicks and had no purpose. That's when he uploaded this video. People are obsessed with content. Do you want to start a business? You better make a lot of content. Have you seen Joe's content? She's got the best content. Oh, and don't forget to make sure you're consistently making content. In an attempt to get the most clicks, likes, and views, we've sold ourselves short and left out one important ingredient, meaning. I'm interested in making meaningful content. I'm sick and tired of clickbait, shallow posts, reverse engineered titles, and catchy thumbnails. It feels like we spend more time these days focusing on being heard than what it is we're actually saying. Notice how he says, Attempt to get most clicks, likes, and views, we have sold ourselves short and left out one important ingredient, meaning. He also goes on to say that we focus more on being heard and less on what you want to say. And that's what I also want to focus on. What is happening is people want attention, people crave for attention and views. And what has happened is creators now try to get the attention of people, but they forget what they actually want to give to the people, what value they bring throughout their content that is missing out and that's what Matt realized and he uploaded the video and if you look at the popular videos on YouTube throughout 2019 or before that you will see that most videos which are popular have one or two common trends either they have clickbait thumbnails or titles or they are making extravagant content like spending thousands of dollars or doing something crazy but in the midst, midst of all these scales Matt's content has been refreshing he hasn't been shooting for attention or tricking you into clicking. He just put out his own truth. If you look at his YouTube video titles and thumbnails, you'll realize that none, I think almost zero, are clickbait titles or thumbnails. That's why he stands out. And in spite of not following the trend, he got to 2 million subscribers on YouTube. And I believe, thanks to him, he's really influencing positive change in the YouTube community. And there's a similar creator like Matt called Nathaniel Drew. And if you look at his YouTube channel, you'll also see that he's also spreading positive content. He's currently, his YouTube channel says that he's looking for mental clarity. And if you go to his videos, you'll all see the positive things that he's trying to spread. And that's also throughout his thumbnails. So if you look at his thumbnails, there's nothing clickbait about them. And I think that's what Matt is doing in a really great way. He's influencing positive content on YouTube. Since I started to make videos three years ago and slowly in the past year, I started taking video making seriously. I get a lot of questions from people like who's your audience or who are you targeting with your videos and most of the time I fell short of trying to answer that question but slowly recently throughout the year watching Matt's videos, I slowly realized that I also have a similar message, a meaningful message of uh, the art of simple living, how I live a simple life and how anyone who watches the video can have positivity or can make self-improvement and that's what I want to promote through my videos. I'm still not there at the correct niche that I want to be but hopefully with more videos I'll be there. And I believe that I'm also at the same stage Matt was in 2018 when he just started out. I'm in no way at the same quality that Matt is making videos but I, I, I have the same mentality or the same mental feeling that he had during that time. That's why this video I want to end with the same part that he made for his video when he was feeling the same thing. So thanks for watching the video. Hope you check out my other videos and hope I keep on making content throughout 29. Yeah, I like it. I don't know. It's cool. I'm just experimenting, trying something new. I hope you guys like it too. If you don't, fuck you. <laughs> no, don't not. That's mean.